Hey everybody, this is Weatherman Tim. Well, we made it out of the month of June, and if you're curious how the Ju June was, uh, you know, up, up against average, it was uh, actually a little bit warmer than average, and we ended the month with a mini heat wave. Boy, did it get hot and humid the last few days of, of the month of June. And the, the closest official climate station actually was a little bit below on the precip. Now let's look ahead till July. July is our warmest month. It has our warmest average high temperature that lasts pretty much through the entire month. Even though the solstice occurred a few weeks ago, there's a lag, there's a delay, and that highest temperature occurs in July. July can have some really oppressive heat. So watch those heat indices and remember what to do with heat stress. If you feel like you're getting like worn down and you're outside, drink a lot of fluids and get out of the sun because your body cannot cool itself if, if it's really humid because there's no evaporation going on. This week for the 4th of July week, it's typical summer-like weather. We have showers that are expected to pop up in the mountains and it looks like for the most part they're going to stay that way, stay out to the west in the mountains. A few may roll into the eastern Long Island, but not many. Mostly dry month with temperatures in the 80s. Enjoy the week. We'll talk soon.